everyone, this is Jenny Hall from Seemingly Smitten, and thank you so much for joining me this week for the Claire Cardigan Sew Along. I hope you're having fun doing a little bit each day, and by Friday you'll have your cardigan to wear, and I cannot wait to see the pictures that you're going to send in. So starting Friday, you can start sending in your pictures on our Facebook page, or you can post them on Instagram and hashtag them so, um, Seemingly Smitten, or hashtag Claire Cardigan. And next week, I'm going to choose three winners. And we have some amazing prizes from, from some really awesome sponsors. So first place winner will receive a medium flat rate box full of beautiful fabrics from Sly Fox Fabrics. So thank you, Katie Kemper, so much for that. Um, and second place winner will receive a $20 gift card to So So English Fabrics. Um, so thank you, Shay Ferris, for that. And third place winner will receive a $20 gift card to Amazon, because who doesn't love Amazon? And um, all of our winners, first, second, and third place, will receive a $25 gift card to Seemingly Smitten to buy some new patterns. So um, the yesterday you should have cut everything out, and today we're going to start sewing. So let's get started. All right, so here we are with our cardigan fronts, and we have them right side up. So the first thing we're going to do is if you are putting pockets on, you're going to have to hem your pockets, just the top edge. So I went ahead and did that, and I just hemmed the top edge, and then I pressed under the sides and the bottom of each of the pockets. And to place your pockets, you're going to measure down from the top edge all the way down, I'm going to put the top of my pocket at 21 inches, and we're going to center them. So I'm going to go ahead and center my pockets at 21 inches, and after you do that, you... So now I have my pocket pinned in place, and I'm going to take it over to the sewing machine to sew it, and what you're going to do is you're going to sew down the right side, across the bottom, and up the left side, and make sure you back stitch three times on the left side and three times on the right side just to secure those top edges. When you sew, make sure you're using a Jersey ballpoint needle because you are sewing with a knit and you do not want to use a universal needle for this. You really want to use a ballpoint needle because the edges are flat and it's just going to poke through the fibers of the knit fabric, just go between the fibers rather than pierce the fiber because that would um, actually poke a hole through it and weaken the fiber. So make sure you're using a ballpoint needle and let's go sew and make sure you use a slant or a zigzag stitch. Okay, so I just sewed the pocket and you can see that I stitched it down and I back stitched and I sewed with um, a zigzag stitch. So. The next part, right now we are ready to take your back piece and you're going to lay it right side up and you're going to flip over these pieces and lay them right side down and you're going to match um, the shoulder seams of the front and back and match the side seams of the front and back and we're going to pin. So let me grab that. Okay, so today... All right, so now I have everything pinned. I pinned at the shoulders and along the side seams of the cardigan. And if you looked on your pattern piece, there was a, a stopping point. If you wanted to have your side slit, you were going to mark that spot. So what I did is I put two pins. That always reminds me to stop sewing right there. So as you sew down, then you're going to stop sewing and sew across and back stitch. So let's take this to the sewing machine and you're going to sew across the shoulders and down each side seam, stopping at the double pins. Okay, now I laid out my sleeves here for you to see. And what we're going to do is we're going to pin and sew along the bottom edge of your sleeve all the way down to the wrist. So you're going to do that for both of your sleeves. So you're going to pin them, and then you're going to take them over to the sewing machine and sew along the bottom edge. Okay, now we have our sleeves finished, and I serged the edges from along that side seam. 
And what you're going to do is you're going to lay your cardigan inside out and you're going to turn your sleeve right side out. So let me turn that right side out. And once you have it right side out, you're going to stick the wrist part of the sleeve into the armhole all the way in and you're going to line up your sleeve side seam with the side seam of the cardigan. Make sure that's all straight and you're going to pin it. I like to pin one on each side so you know that it stays together. And then you're going to find the center of your sleeve and you're going to match it with the top shoulder seam and you're going to pin that on both sides. And then what you're going to do is you're going to pin the entire sleeve. You're going to match up the sleeve to the armhole and you're going to pin around the entire thing. So let me pin that. Okay, so now you can see here that I pinned my sleeve into my armhole. And make sure you're only pinning the sleeve and the other piece of the cardigan, so two pieces all the way around. You don't want to pin it together closed. And so make sure you do it to the other side. And now we're going to take it to the sewing machine. And using a zigzag stitch, you're going to sew all around the entire armhole on both sides. Okay, now that you just sewed in each of the sleeves, we're going to turn it right side out. And you're going to see your beautiful sleeve. See that? And then we're going to get the other one right side out. I'm going to lay it flat and you're going to be able to see your cardigan. And there you go. There's a cardigan with your pockets. And you can actually go ahead and try it on right now to see how it fits. And if you need to bring it in at the side seams, you can still do that by turning it inside out and just sewing again using a larger seam allowance. So um, I hope you enjoyed sewing with me today. And try on your cardigan, see if it fits. And tomorrow we'll come back and we'll hem the sleeves, the bottom edge, and the side slit over here. So see you tomorrow. Thanks, guys.